Crypto DLT with Mr. Connector. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for daily content. Let's go. Hey, it's Mr. Connector again. I just wanted to share my crypto journey with you, and this is not financial advice, but I've been in the space a few years now. I got into Bitcoin like a lot of people to start with, and I've moved on to researching better technologies like the XRP Ledger and the XLM, Hedera, Cosmos, things like that with a lot more utility I've been interested in. And then I found the company Metallicus. Like Ripple, Metallicus is located in San Francisco, and they have the Metal blockchain. And that's what I wanted to go over today, the Metal blockchain. Uh, Metallicus does have a really good wallet called the WebAuth wallet. And really the main coin XPR, it is on the WebAuth wallet, but it runs on the Antelope technology. And Metallicus is going to be migrating the XPR network over to the Metal blockchain. And we're going to dive into Metal a little bit today and see what's so attractive about this Metal blockchain. Blockchain for banking. BSA compliant layer zero blockchain for financial institutions. They've partnered with Fiserv, Timonos, Vibrant, and Clover, and Jack Henry. So what is Metal Blockchain? Metal Blockchain is a layer zero solution designed for financial institutions and fintechs. Built with Bank Secrecy Act compliance, digital identity, and private subnet architecture for secure, tailored financial innovations. So let's look into these chains a little more in depth. We have the Metal Platform, and again, it features four different blockchains, the XPR Network, A-Chain, the Exchange Chain, X-Chain, the Platform Chain, P-Chain, and the Contract Chain, the C-Chain. All four of these blockchains are validated and secured by all Metal validators, which is also referred as the Primary Network. The primary network is a special subnet and all members of the custom subnets must also be a member of the primary network staking at least 2000 metal. And right quick guys, you can use your WebAuth wallet to stake your metal. You can switch between the XPR network and the metal blockchain. Those are two different blockchains right now. Remember we said XPR is going to be migrating to the metal though. So for right now, the XPR network A-Chain allows for the creation and use of smart contracts. It implements the Antelope virtual machine, allowing developers to easily deploy Proton-based dApps on the Metal blockchain. The A-Chain uses the Snowman consensus protocol. XPR network is built to handle payments, decentralized finance, dApps, DAOs, payment messaging, banks, PSPs, and fintechs, with a higher resource efficiency. And back on the metal blockchain, we have the C chain, the contract chain. This allows for creation of the use of smart contracts. It implements a modified version of the EVM, allowing developers to easily deploy Ethereum based dApps on the metal blockchain. The C chain uses the snowman consensus protocol. So again, we're starting to see how a lot of the Ethereum builders can easily migrate over to this chain and also the platform chain. It coordinates validators, creates and manages subnets, and allows for individual blockchains, permissioned or permissionless, to launch on the Meta blockchain. It also enables cross-communication between different internal blockchains. The P-Chain uses the Snowman consensus protocol, and the P-Chain API allows clients to create subnets, add validators to subnets, and create blockchains. So this kind of reminds me of like a side chain on the XRP ledger that they're working on with these individual subnets, any bank or any entity can create their own blockchain and have their own validators. So that is infinitely scalable guys. And last is the exchange chain, the X chain. It acts as a decentralized platform for creating and trading digital smart assets, a representation of a real world resource like a equity bond with a set of rules that govern its behavior, like it can't be traded until tomorrow or can only be sent to a U.S. citizens. So Metallic is, is setting up these companies and giving them exactly what they need to be able to be compliant and to be able to transition from the old legacy system that they're used to up to this new blockchain system. One asset traded on the exchange is Metal. When you issue a transaction to a blockchain on the Metal blockchain, you pay a fee denominated in metal. The X chain is an instance of the Avalanche virtual machine, an AVM. 
The X-Chain API allows clients to create and trade assets on the X-Chain and other instances of the AVM. So there's a little rundown of all the different chains. Uh, it might seem like a lot if you're just now diving into this, but as we further our education on this blockchain space, it's all gonna start clicking, guys, how all these chains start to work together. Metal is the native token of the Metal blockchain. It's a hard-capped and scarce asset that serves multiple purposes in the ecosystem. Metal is used to pay for transaction fees, secure the platform through staking, and provide a basic unit of account between the multiple subnets created on the Metal blockchain. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to go over this real quick and show you all the subchains. I'll try to bring you any news that comes up on this Metal blockchain. Make sure to give me a subscribe and follow the channel. That way we can all stay up to date. You guys have a great day. Mr. Connector out.